I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn how to solve a word problem and apply the strategies learned for solving equations. Question here is hot air balloon is descending at the rate of 42 meters per minute from the height of 672 meters. Write and solve an equation to determine how long it takes for the balloon to reach the height of 168 meters. Now we are given that the balloon is at the height of 172 meters. Let's, let us say that's the position of the balloon above the ground and it is 672 meters high. So that's the height of the balloon. Now with time it is actually coming downwards, right? So it is coming downwards at the rate of 42 meters per minute. So every minute, so the distance is decreasing by 42 meters, kind of like this. Do you see that? And we need to find how much time will it take to reach the height of 168. Let us say this is our 168 meters. We need to find how much time will it take to reach that height of 168 meters. So that is the kind of question which we have. Now first step is to define the variable. So we say let the height be let the height be h and that too in meters, right? In meters. And time be t in minutes. Right? So we'll work with these two uh, variables height and time height in meters and time in minutes so initially to start with balloon is at the height of 672 so height is equals to 672 but it is decreasing at the rate of means with time every minute it decreases by 42 so in t minutes it will decrease by 42 times t so that is how height is related with time in this particular situation. So that part we have done, that is to write an equation. Now we need to solve the equation to determine how long it takes for the balloon to reach height of 168 meters. So that means we need to find t when h is given as 168. So the next part is that height is 168 and we need to find how much time it takes to reach this height. So in this equation, we know h. We can substitute 168 for h. We get 168 equals to 672 minus 42t. And we have to now find the value of t, the time. Now this can be solved by rearranging the equation, isolating t, right? That is what will help us to find t. Now, how do we isolate t? So, first, we'll take away 672 from both the sides and then we'll divide by minus 42. So, these steps will help us to isolate 2. So, what to isolate t? So, the steps being taken are, we're trying to do inverse operations, right? So, we'll do inverse operation. to isolate and solve for t, right? So that is how we are going to solve this equation. So first step is, let us take away 672 from both the sides. So we get 168 minus 672 equals to 672 minus 42t minus 672, right? So what is 168 minus 672? 168 minus 672 is equal to minus 504. So we get minus 504 equals to minus 42t, right? Now to find t, we'll divide both sides by minus 42, right? So t is equals to minus 504 divided by minus 42. Right? So we'll divide both sides by minus 42. Minus minus becomes plus. And now let us divide 
504 by 42. So we get 12. So we get t equals to 12, right? So the answer here is t equals to 12, and the units are minutes. So after 12 minutes, height of the balloon will be 168 meters, right? So that is how you can solve the question. I hope that is clear, right? There are alternate ways of solving such questions. You could do it by graph or by making table of values also, right? Now, if you are drawing a graph, then the dependent axis is height for it because height is dependent on time. And then, you know, a couple of values. One, you know, 672 is the starting value. So if t equals to 0, then the height is 672. Now, for every minute, it will go down by 42. So you can have few points and join them to make a graph. The graph will kind of look like this. Right? Now, at the height of, this height is 672 for you, right? So at the height of 168, you can draw a horizontal line. Wherever it meets the graph, corresponding time will give you the answer, right? So you can read that answer from the graph. So that's an alternate way of solving such questions by using a graph, right? So I hope that helps you a lot. Thank you and all the best.